storm track weather first alert. Well, we continue to track uh, some showers and thunderstorms, and uh, Will Heron's been tracking these storms with me all afternoon. We'll get to Will in just a little bit, but here's what we're looking at on Doppler radar right now, and you can see some of the scattered showers and storms that we are tracking, and we're not looking at any severe weather at this point, but again, uh, you can see some of the scattered showers here. These are kind of weakening here. Uh, making their way towards the northeast, but you can see they're all rapidly moving to the northeast. These are not slow movers. They're moving at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. A little heavier activity right here. Long Interstate 10 making its way into portions of uh, Hutspeth County, but a few scattered showers there in El Paso County as well. Here's a look at Luna County. You notice around Demi, Interstate 10 points to the north, numerous lightning strikes. This is some Moderate to heavy rainfall. You folks in Las Cruces been hit hard with some of the rain. Flood warnings have been issued over there, no longer in effect. But you've been looking at some storms just continuing to track across your area, even farther towards the north. You can see some of these scattered showers and storms up there. Look at rainfall amounts so far. Not looking at a whole lot. I mean, Clint's a little more than a tenth of an inch, but most areas staying less than a tenth, but if you look at Las Cruces, look at some of these numbers, get about a half an inch, maybe an inch of rain, get towards University Park and also out towards the west of us around Fair Acres and Picacho, some uh, heavy pockets of rainfall up there. So certainly they were dealing with some buckets of rain farther down towards the south to get around University Park, Messiah Park. Look at some of these numbers. Again, this is Doppler radar estimates, not going to be total exact, but generally in the ballpark. But you can see right around San Pablo there, South Main Street. Look at that, maybe a little more than an inch of rainfall. So we've been certainly tracking some of the heavy rain. The issue with tomorrow now, I'm not expecting any severe weather overnight, but tomorrow we're going to have some sporadic showers, but it's going to be a colder day. We're going to be dealing with mostly cloudy skies. Winds will be out of the east, and we're going to be talking about the potential, again, of having some wind chills and just going to be one of those days with below average temperatures. And, Will, we've been tracking some of these showers on our latest future track computer model. Maybe some of these could linger into the overnight hours. Yeah, very true, Doppler. Like we were, you were saying, you were showing me here. That's what we're looking at right now in the El Paso area, and I'm going to give you an idea what we're going to be looking at going forward throughout the rest of the week. Now, we're dealing with those colder weathers. Las Cruces, you're obviously seeing a little bit of rain heading there towards dimming and such, but we'll pull up that big map right now so I can show you a little bit more of what we're going to be dealing with. Now again, this is what we're looking at right now at about 10 o'clock. Oh, it's about 12 o'clock right there. You can see Las Cruces. You're definitely getting hit as well with some of that rain going forward again. Taking a look over there to the west of El Paso. They're dealing with a little bit more of that. That's about 5 a.m. And I'll get out of your way. You can see over that Van Horn area. Also down there past Fabens and such. They're be dealing with more rain going into the evening. But it's going to be a little bit cooler there as well. Now, all that wide in that area, those are cloud covers. So that's going to keep some of that warm air down there. But as things start moving, it'll definitely clear out. Now, I'm going to jump here a lot forward into the day where you can see this stuff starts to clear up into tomorrow. There's Tuesday, a lot of cloud cover, but it's going to open up as you get later in. And this is going to be a little bit cooler because that hot air is going to be able to leave our area and kind of make its way up. We'll be dealing with that cold air. Now jumping over here to your 7 day forecast sponsored by Mattress Firms. I can jump over here. You see your first few days you're going to be in your 60s. Drop down to 45 though. Again, that's where that hot air is going to rise and you'll be dealing with all that cool air down there on the bottom for us going for the rest of the week. You see 75 though, a high on Thursday, but with possible rain coming there Friday through Saturday again temperatures will be a little bit cooler as we get going but Dylan you have a little bit more for us okay thank you very much will it's your voice your